Hello everybody, Luke Schulte, Field of Ground Strike Cybers. Along with me today is Jared Chester. Jared's part of our PFR team. We know this spring has presented a whole host of challenges from you know, field conditions to short planting windows. And now recently, we're seeing some crusting due to those uh, conditions that we've observed over the past month. And we anticipate more to come, given a dry forecast. One of the tools that we found to be very effective at, at busting the crust without being too invasive on those emerged corn plants is actually what you see behind us and that's the planter. Jared has done a lot of this over the years, so he'll walk through some of the settings that we found to be the most effective at not only busting that crust, but also being the least amount of, uh, or seeing the least amount of disruption to the existing corn plants that have emerged. So here's the settings that we've had a lot of luck with when it comes to trying to bust that crust and get that corn up out of the ground. The first one is depth. So we're gonna take our depth gauge and we're gonna go from two inches, which is our typical planting depth, and we're gonna shallow it up to a half to three quarters of an inch really depends on how thick and how, uh, how thick that crust is. If that crust has really gotten thick, three quarters of an inch is typically where we land at. Setting number two that we change on our corn planter is with our closing system. So we take the T-handle and we put it in float, basically take all the pressure off our closing wheels. They're still running along the ground, but there's just no pressure on them. The next setting that we need to be aware of is with our downforce. So on our plot planter here at London, we've got hydraulic downforce, we've got delta force, and we just continue to run it in our standard automated delta force setting. We need to make sure we've got enough downforce to keep those discs in the ground to be able to cut through that hard crust. So don't take all the, the downforce off, whether you've got hydraulics or springs. We need to make sure we've got enough to really cut through that crust uniformly. The other setting that we've actually played with and had some luck with here at PFR is actually with our row cleaners. So sometimes when we bust the crust, we pick the row cleaners all the way up because they're really not needed. Other times where we've had really heavy rain events and we've actually had residue uh, basically pond up and float over top the row, we'll run our row cleaners where they're just moving that trash or residue back off the row. So that's really a field by field scenario. The other setting that we recommend is once you get the corn planter set is when you're out there in the field, really we've had the best luck when you can go right back over top your planted row. So if you've got RTK or guidance, re-engage that AB line and really try and get those disc openers right back across the same trench that you already made when you planted. So we purposely ran the planter over what is a very good stand of two and three leaf corn. And as you can see, as we zoom in, it's not as disruptive as you one might think. If we go right down the row, you're gonna see pretty commonly are cut leaves, but yet that plant is intact. The root system's solid, and you can see more cut plants. Again, pretty common to see some cut plants. In fact, here's some leaves from another plant. But as you zoom in, here's a really good example. You're gonna see some plants that are entirely cut off, and yet that plant, if we come back here in, in a couple days, even a week, that plant will make it because the growing point is below the surface and is protected. So we've tried a multitude of ways of of relieving the crust and busting the crust here at PFR, what we found to be the most consistent, especially if we have auto steer and guidance, is the planter pass. It's certainly been more consistent than a vertical tilt tool or a rotary hoe that may or may not be worn out. So I'd encourage you, if you think you have some issues or you expect it with the forecast that you're gonna have some issues, be proactive. Introducing oxygen to the soil is also never a bad thing. So as always, if you have any questions, just call. Thanks for tuning in.